Hey guys, good morning or almost afternoon. God, I'm so having such a late start on this vlog. I've been up for a while. I just didn't vlog because I didn't import yesterday's stuff. I don't know. I'm in the middle of making yesterday's vlog presentable. It was very short. Hopefully today's will be longer and I'm not in as horrible of a mood, I hope. Uh, let's hope for that. I do work tonight. I'm not looking forward to it. My mentality is just, like, all freaked up right now. Like, I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. I feel weird. I'm gonna go make coffee. So, I'll be back in a bit. <laughs> Wait, it's a little bit later. I'm gonna hop in the shower. And look, look, look. It's before one. It's processed. It's done processing. So, when I get back, it's, like, 1230 right now. And I'm gonna shower and get dressed. And then, it'll be up at one. And I'm very excited. Since it's already done processing. Because it's only, like, five minutes long. Because yesterday was a mess for me. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to film for quite the collab, because my video thing screwed me over, and yeah, that's a different story. <laughs> but I will update you guys and let you know what's happening. I'm showered and not gross anymore, but the vlog is up, and it actually would have been one, guys. I'm so happy. My room's such a disaster, and it's giving me so much anxiety, but I'm also, like, incredibly stressed out of everything else that's going on that I have to do, because I gotta refilm, like I said, for quite the collab. Gonna go down. I'm going down to get my tripod and camera right now because they were downstairs because I was filming downstairs for them. But that footage lost and I'm just a mess, an entire mess, and I don't know. So I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do there and everything of that sort because I'm still filming up in my room. My room's a disaster, and so like in my videos you'll see it, and it's like an entire a lie. Oh, also I should get the tree. It's done for the most part. Look at how cute it looks. I love it. But either way, just coming to grab this bad boy and my camera with my battery and charger that's over here. And yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Whoa, productive Riley. I filmed and I'm editing now, but it's like a disaster area outside. It's like raining. Wendy, I don't, I don't know what's up there, but look at me being productive. I'm actually, this video, this like totally last minute video, um, is really good. I'm really impressed with myself and it turned out really good and I don't leave for work. I just have to leave at like, in like five hours, four hours. I don't know. I start at seven, four, five hours. Mm. I don't, I don't know my timing. I don't know math. I can't do math. I don't know anything about that, but I'm going to edit. I might film again because I'm in the mood and I'm feeling better. So, I don't know. I'll keep y'all updated and cool stuff like that. There's not much I'm doing. Also, I said my vlog was up, right? Didn't I do that? I did because it's up. Yesterday's vlog. So, if you're watching this, go watch yesterday's. <laughs> but, I'm having fun doing fun things and I'll keep you guys updated. Oh, me. I'm being productive today. Like, I I realize I've been in the same place for, like, the last five clips or something. I don't know. But I finished editing my Quite the Collab video and I'm exporting that. I have finished editing, exporting, and making thumbnails for my uh, one video that I need left for my main channel before Christmas. And I've gotten all of that done and I'm so proud. And I filmed. And I'm gonna film again. And then I'm gonna eat. And then I'm gonna go to work and try to not be entirely miserable while I'm there. And I'm just, I'm feeling good, guys. I'm so glad. That slump that I was in for the past two days, I have no idea what that was about. None. I'm feeling so much better. <sighs> Relief. Thank the Lord. All right. <laughs> so it's later, and I leave for work in about an hour, and I have my phone set here because I'm going to talk. I'm very agitated. Y'all know. Y'all saw I vlogged. I was having a really, really good day. And then my dad got home. And like y'all know, you've seen my dad in my main channel video, I think, in the dad tag. And I don't know, because I can't say he's a bad person, but I certainly can't say he's a good person, if that makes sense. Um, well, take for instance, I was just out there for now, and he... After what happened earlier, which I'll get into, he sit there and he's told me, he's like, you're doing this. Or my mom told me, and I was like, because she said she was told that I was, and I was like, um, no, I don't think so. I have a very strict policy, like, with myself on, I respect those who respect me, and those who respect me, I will respect. Kind of simple. Hold a mutual respect for people, and we won't have issues. 
my dad holds respect for no one except for my mother. And that is an issue because he treats me and my sister awfully, like emotionally. And because just because he provides for us with like a roof over our head and like clothes and food, which is great. And I, I'm not like complaining about that, obviously, but he thinks that just because he does that, that he's exempt. And just because he does that, like he cannot be a, abusive like emotionally abusive or mentally abusive and I, that's a load of bullcrap like when he came in the door today he freaked out I wrote it down he freaked out and he said I thought you'd actually he well first of all he freaked and he was like oh my fucking god because the nothing got done in the house today I guess like we didn't clean anything because I'd been busy Amanda was sick and so like not a lot of stuff got done I guess like to his standards because lord knows i've been working on like videos and stuff all day and you guys know and that's something that's very important to me and it's like something i consider my job and he comes in and he's like i thought you'd actually do something because you were home all day and i was like well i've been busy and he just like goes under his breath and he's like lazy and i was like i'm not lazy i actually do stuff and then he looked back at me and was, he screamed he's like kiss my ass and I was like, no, thank you. And then he like went on to mutter to himself. I didn't hear all the thing, but then he screamed useless fucking people referring to everybody who lives in this house. So me, my sister, and my mom. And I'm just like, you are the useless ones. Like, I'm not going to go calling him useless at all because he's got good traits, obviously. But like, he, he sits on his butt and doesn't do physical work around the house. And then he backs it up and says that oh, he manages finances and he does stuff like that. And I'm like, yeah, that's great. But like, we all do stuff like that too. That's not physical. But then you all yell at, you yell at us and like tell us we don't do anything because you didn't see a physical change. And I'm like, if you're going to do that to us, we have every right to do that to you. And it's so frustrating. And then he's like, uh, you're not getting any food from us tonight. And I was like, well, mom... I started to say because mom was bringing home food for us and then she's and then he was like I don't give a shit and like he's got such a nasty attitude and I don't understand what about his demeanor it is and like the reason I can say this in this vlog is because lord knows he doesn't watch my videos let alone my vlogs or anything like that so it's just such a nasty thing and then like right after like seconds later he was like talking to the dog as if he didn't just freak out and I'm like you are the worst and because one, the, the, one of the things he says to me and my sister a lot is, I'm a parent, what I say goes, you're a child, you have no rights. And this really, really, really frustrates me. Because, first of all, I have human rights as a human being living in the United States of America. Uh, Constitution protected rights. It does not say that I have no rights because I'm a child. And the whole idea that a household is a dictatorship and the parent is a dictator is a load of bullshit because... You are your own person. Like, obviously, you're going to, like, follow your parents' rules in the house for, like, certain things. But when I am sitting there and I am, like, I have a right to speak my mind. I have a right to stand up for what I want to do. Or I have a right to do certain things. He's like, no, you don't. You're a kid. You don't have rights. You're under my house. Like, I can say what I want to say. And he has no, he cannot prevent me from doing it. And punishing me is basically illegal because it's censorship. And you can't do that because that's not legal in the united states and it's so frustrating because so he always says like you're a child you have no rights and i'm just like really really i'm i'm a child like you know he calls me a child all the time and it's really frustrating because like yeah i'm 17 so i'm technically a minor but i went and got my ged like i have a job and he's sitting there calling me a child but he sits there and treats me like a child and is like, oh, you have to ask us permission before you do all of this stuff. Like, you have to go through us. Like, you can't do anything by yourself. But then he turns around with some things and he's like, act like an adult. Grow up. Do what you're supposed to do. You have a job. You need to be acting like an adult and behaving like an adult. And you have to manage your own finances. And I'm just like, okay, here's the thing. 
you can't sit here and tell me one of those things and then tell me another. You need to choose. Like, are you going to treat me like an eight-year-old like you do half the time? Or are you going to treat me like an adult like you do half the time? I'm not going to sit here and take the bull crap that you're spewing to me in between. Because if you're going to treat me like an adult, you have no right to say that I'm a child and that I have no rights. Because first of all, children do have rights, obviously. Second, like, you don't have a right to say that to an adult. If you're going to treat me like an adult, treat me like an entire adult. If you're going to treat me like a child, treat me like a child. Because if I'm a child, I don't have to pay for anything. I don't have to manage my own finances. I don't have to go driving. I don't have to have a job. If I'm an adult, I don't have to go through him for absolutely every little thing I do and say and breathe. If I am an adult, then, like, he can't... I... You gotta choose. And one of the things he does is, like, tell he yells at me and my sister all the time about being productive members of the family and not doing stuff. He calls me lazy all the time and it's a really frustrating thing because I'm very obviously not lazy like if you watch my vlogs and my videos like I put a lot of work into those and I put a lot of time and effort and I do things with it but he says he thinks that just because I'm sitting behind my computer that it's a laziness issue and that I'm not doing anything productive because he straight up told me before that he does not care about my YouTube channel that he does not care that I do YouTube that he thinks it's stupid and that it's a waste of time and it's really frustrating because like it's one of the things that I absolutely love to do but like he sits there and he's like you're lazy you don't put effort into anything and I'm like clearly you don't pay attention and it's just such a frustrating situation because he I, I can't I, the worst part is is that like I can't say I love him I can't like honestly say that I love him and I cannot honestly say he's a good person and that's a really, like, frustrating thing for me to face because he's such an asshole sometimes. And I just, like, when he treats me like this and then he turns around, he can be the best dad ever. And I'm just like, that. you gotta, you can't just do stuff like this. You have to let me know, like, what am I supposed to think? What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to feel? Like, I am so frustrated because, like, I know when I turn 18, I'm still going to need my parents' financial support and things like their guidance and stuff but I'm also at the point where like when I turn 18 I'm getting the hell out and I'm not turning back because I don't want to deal with this bullshit anymore like if it makes sense and I don't know it's horrible it's the worst thing that I've had to deal with in a really long time and like I don't know how to handle it and I know like it's not bad because like a ton of people have it worse than me and so I'm really not in that bad of a situation I guess it's just like kind of an irritating thing because I have to deal with this all the time and he like won't treat me like a child but he won't treat me like an adult and then uh, it's just so absolutely frustrating and sorry I'm gonna go now because I had to work in a little bit I'll probably update you before then sorry this is super long look at me doing it coming home working adult things and making it home in one piece I should applaud myself I'm feeling really good about it how many these are left did somebody eat all these no, there's still a lot left. I'm so excited. Um, I'm very hungry. And work was not as miserable as I anticipated it to be today, which is always a pleasant surprise. I mean, it was pretty good, and I kind of enjoyed it, but, like, you know, what you gotta do. Also, food is an important thing that I need in my life. We literally have a ham in the fridge, and my parents were like, oh, it's for Christmas, and I'm like, you're gonna have a ham in the fridge for two weeks? I don't know. I don't know the source of that or anything. Yeah, whatever. These will do for now. I don't know if y'all have these where you are because Better Made is like a Michigan company. But look, they're like potato sticks. They're kind of like potato chips. That's the intention. But it's not potato chips. They're like cut like fries. I don't know. I'll show you in a minute when I get in. Um, and they are so good because like, I'm not a potato chip person. I don't like potato chips, but I like these and I don't know if it's cause of the shape or the texture or like whatever is different. Can you see me? Am I visible? I am now, but the texture is like super, I don't know. It's cause they're like, they're just like fries. Kind of like skinny. I don't know. They're good. I like them. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna edit. I'm gonna do some stuff. And yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Alright, guys, it's late and I'm tired, so I'm gonna head to bed. 
I will see you bright and early tomorrow morning because I don't work until Friday. Woo! So we can party for days, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really have plans, so maybe stuff will come. Maybe I'll do fun things. I don't know. I'm not sure what should I do. You let me know in the comments down below. Um, yeah, I love you guys. You can subscribe because I'm doing Vlogmas, so I still have like 14 more vlogs, I think. And I'm probably going to vlog Christmas Day. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. See, this is my issue when I have, when I vlog on my phone because like I can see my face right here and I always like look at myself, but I don't want to do that and I can't do that. Also, they look good. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'm going to stop talking, but I love you guys and you can follow me on all my social media, which is at the Riley Kyle. Links down there and fun stuff. Also... The day you're seeing this is Tuesday, which means on Wednesday I post on Quite the Collab, and my video this week is super cool, and I really want you guys to go watch it. So it's youtube.com slash Quite the Collab, and link below, like I said. And yeah, you can go check that out. It'll be super, 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 super duper cool, and I'm very excited for it. But other than that, I love you guys, and I'll catch you all tomorrow morning. Love you.